1993, disaster divided Illinois, Missouri, and Iowa as never before. From the Green Bay Bottoms to Dead Dog Road, and from the Big Swan over to Pin Oaks Farm, our region was inundated by the worst flood in history. Out of the muck emerged Moxie. The idea was to bring together stakeholders from 35 counties with the goal of expanding our mutual interests. And so we battled about everything. And uh, for years and years and years, uh, uh, we weren't partners. We, weren't, we didn't work together. We didn't take advantage of the region. We were very provincial. That began to change when the first Tri-State Development Summit was held in 1996. Some dreams will never be realized, but they will certainly not be realized if we don't dare to dream them, and I think that's what today was about. Representatives from three states and several different communities coming together to dream and hopefully make those dreams come true. The true pioneers of this, uh, this summit um, that came together after the flood of 93 have made a significant impact on the quality of living in this tri-state area. A consensus was built to address critical needs in transportation, housing, tourism, technological connectivity, and entrepreneurship. In addition, agriculture, the workforce development, and media were considered vital elements. Uh, there's strength in numbers. Uh, the whole is, is more important than the parts. Today and even more in the future, with limited resources, we're going to need to be a region and we're going to need to speak with one voice. Working in partnership, Leaders in the three states spoke in unison. At a time of often bitter competition in other places, the tri-state area stood out for its unique approach to economic, social, and educational advancement. Collectively, when you speak of 36 counties, uh, you speak of three governors and six United States senators and five or six United States representatives, you all of a sudden become a force. We, there, there are 700,000 people basically in the 36 counties and uh, uh, it has been a very effective way to communicate uh, 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 locally, uh, statewide, and nationally. The payoff of this unity is easily seen. We've backed the paving of more than 1,300 miles of new highways and the development of new and exciting businesses. We've started a consortium that works with the private sector on employment needs and we've increased the region's technological capabilities that connect us with the world. Innovative new housing programs are underway and we see an influx of visitors anxious to experience the recreational and historical opportunities we have here. In 2017, we became a USDA great region, one of only eight in America. The designation allows us to tap into additional resources for development. Individually we can be good, together we can be greater, so when we look at things from a region, we are really helping ourselves grow for the future. The question now is, where do we go from here? How do we ensure that our quality of life is passed to those who will call our neighborhoods home? You know, I don't know where, where the summit needs to be in 50 years or 40 years or, or what it ought to look like, but what, I'm, what I am confident is, is that our region is going to have to continue to work together. And, and speak with that one voice and, and be a part of the world market. Perhaps the spirit of our alliance is best summed up by the late Tom Bolin, an original member of the Tri-State Development Summit and a champion for all of us. It was a real team effort and uh, we, we've accomplished an awful lot and I'm very proud of what we've accomplished. And, uh, but it wasn't just me. Solidarity is the key. We've seen that consensus can carry us far. Now it's time to use our alliance in opening new avenues of growth, prosperity, and abundance. We are the Tri-States. We have the tools, the talent, and the resolve to make it happen.